Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Christian Business Connection radio show. I'm your host, Prophetess Nona Thomas. And friends, I got to say that this is the day that the Lord has made. I am rejoicing and I am exceedingly glad and it bless his name. That's right. I said, Prophetess Nona Thomas, I thank God. I'm so humbled by the elevation that the Lord has given this new office. And I just give him the glory, the honor and the praise today. I also give him glory for our guests. Let me tell you, we have got a stellar lineup for our guest today. And everyone who's on the program is a part of the upcoming celebration for women in healthcare. This exciting event is being hosted by the Christian Business Connection and Home State Health. It is going to be Saturday, September 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the atrium located on the campus of Christian Hospital Northeast. And how apropos it is for that type of event to be there on the campus of Christian Hospital. Friends, I tell you, this event is simply a celebration of all women in any service, any level of healthcare, not just the CEOs and the founders of different things, but the CNA, the LPN, the caregiver, the nurse, the first responder, every person in every level of home health care. Women, we are celebrating and saying thank you to you. So let me tell you, the tickets are free. There's no cost for the tickets. You can get free tickets at Transformation Christian Bookstore or give us a call at 314-437-7595. If you do not have a ticket or a flyer, then the cost for this event is only $5. And let me tell you, it's going to include vendor booths, all different types of services and products. We're going to have special speakers. We'll have free lunches until the supplies run out. We're going to have giveaways. It's going to be a stellar, stellar time. So give us a call at 314 314- Two seven zero two 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 five. If you would like to perhaps be a vendor at this event, I want to tell you it's a good place to be on Saturday, September seventeenth. If you have a business, ministry, or organization, we do have a few of the vendor booths left. That's three one four two seven zero two 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 five. Now, if you, again get those free tickets, Transformation Christian Bookstore, and if you'd like to register for the free lunch, you can give us a call also. So at 314-270-2225. All right, let's get to our guests. We've got a wonderful panel of people this morning. We're so blessed because we have back on our program, Apostle Frank Bio. He is our CBC author of the month for September. And friends, his new book is simply great. It is entitled, Allah is not our God, (laughs) Jesus, the Holy One. Oh, yeah, he's going to be here this morning. We're going to kick off talking about the book and his upcoming prophetic book tour. And he's going to start that book tour right here in St. Louis at the upcoming celebration of women in healthcare. So Apostle will be there with his books. He's going to be speaking. It is going to be a great time. We also have on the program one of our sponsors of this event, Miss Miranda Quarles of Computer Village. She's going to be talking again about some great things that are going on within Computer Village. And then, you know, she's going to come back and give us our Tech Geek tip of the week. You know, I got to say that, got to say that slow. Okay. You can't say that too fast, (laughs) but she's going to be here. And every week it has been great. Her giving us a new tip. We also have on the program this morning, Miss April Fuller Kelly. She is a beauty tainer with Tyra Beauty. So we're excited to hear what's going on in that fantastic line of cosmetics. She's going to be with us this morning. And then we're also going to have on the program, Miss Roxy Jones of Peace of Mind Boutique. She's going to be at the celebration of women in healthcare. So friends, we've got a a wonderful line. You're also going to hear from several vendors who are going to be at this upcoming celebration of women event. You know, I can't tell you. I can't tell you everything. You just have to stay tuned. You can't miss one second. Call somebody, tell somebody, text somebody about the CBC radio show. We're on the air right now. Stay with me. And when I come back, we're going to be talking this morning with our CBC author of the month, Apostle Frank Bio. I'll be right back. 
Ladies, get ready for the celebration of Women in Healthcare, presented by the Christian Business Connection and Home State Health, Saturday, September 17th at the Atrium, located in the Dietrich Building on the campus of Christian Hospital Northeast. Come out from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for this thank you and celebration of women in all services of healthcare. You will enjoy giveaways, free food, special speakers, vendor booths, entertainment, and more. Want a vendor booth, free lunch, or free admission? Call 3 314-270-2225 or go to the website thecbcradioshow.com Good morning. My name is Liddell Blackman, creator of Be Free Creations Custom Made Jewelry. I'm expecting to see all women in healthcare to come out September the 17th for a celebration of Women in Healthcare Appreciation Day. If you need further information about Be Free Creations, Please feel free to call me at 314-496-0349. See you there. Good morning. I am Miranda Quarles from Computer Village, a proud sponsor of the Celebration of Women in Healthcare on Saturday, September the 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Atrium in Christian Hospital Northeast. Computer Village will be there. Computer Village will have many laptops, desktops, and printers available for purchase. We will also have sign-ups available for classes ranging from Microsoft Office, coding, and robotics, and many more. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact us at 314-533-1900 or visit our website at computervillage.org. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Prophetess Nona Thomas. And friends, I'm so excited. I told you at the top of the program that we were going to be speaking this morning with Apostle Frank Bio. You guys remember him. He is our CBC Author of the Month. We were so excited to promote his last book in July. And here we are promoting his new book, We're so excited about it. Allah is not our God. I want to welcome back to the CBC radio show, Apostle Frank Bio. Good morning, Apostle. Good morning, Prophetess, and how are you this beautiful day? I am excited. Can I say it for you? I won't even ask you. I'm going to say say it it myself. I'm Uh excited because this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. You feel the same way? Amen, amen, (laughs) amen. Yes, praise (laughs) the Lord. God is so gracious and so awesome. Uh, You know, at times I'm just ready to bust out my skin. You know how that is. (laughs) Yes, yes. Well, you know, Apostle, we're so excited because your prophetic book tour is getting ready to kick off at our upcoming celebration of women in healthcare. Isn't it going to be great? It sure will. I'm excited for that occasion, and I'm looking forward to be uh, with you and with all of our friends there in St. Louis. Yes, yes. I know you have been planning for a while for this book tour event. Tell us exactly what it's going to include, Apostle. Well, the, obviously, since uh, we did the former book, which is uh, The Watchman Sees Book to uh, Seeing Beyond What You See, uh, that was a more sure word where we give information to avoid fear. That was the whole premise of that book. And, and, and at the same time, the Lord gave me additional revelation for this new book, which we're introducing today, which is called Allah is Not Our God. Once again, it's information. Uh, I, I think the biggest problem in the, amongst people is that we fear what we don't know. And by giving input and information, that puts us in a position of strength rather than a position of weakness. That's the whole purpose. And in this tour, I'm going to be signing books. I'm going to have a supply of my books, and I'll be able to meet people face-to-face. That's the whole key. And if they have any questions that they can ask me, uh, providing we go, don't go into long dissertations. You know what I'm saying. Indeed. But it's just... It's just to be able to be a blessing to God's people so that they are informed and not in fear. Yes. You know, I love the uh, what you say on your book and your book cover. Of course, Allah is not our God. And then Jesus is the Holy One. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, he is. Well, you, you see, the, the biggest problem is that, it, especially since so much has happened uh, since 9-11, uh, I really believe that what has happened is a spirit of fear has been released to America. It's almost like we're afraid to deal with these uh, individual, these radical uh, Muslims, if you will. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the fact is that it seems like even in our government, 
Uh, and, and this is just a possible Bible speaking. I really feel as though Satan released this, a massive spirit of fear in America. We're afraid of everything. We're, we're getting to a point, I think we're even afraid of our own shadow. You mm, see what I'm saying? Yes. And the Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and of a science, sound mind. I like the Amplified that it says self-disciplined and controlled the mind. Mm. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so the fact is, and the Bible says that perfect love casts out all fear. So if I'm going to be dwelling on all of these problems, and I'm not dealing on, I'm not, uh, I'm not focusing there on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, and God who is love imparts love to us through Jesus Christ, you see? And so when what has happened is there's been a lot of error that we've gotten over the years because of the spirit of fear. We're afraid to address it because, once again, of not knowing. You yes. see what I'm saying? Yes. So now the Lord gave me instructions, especially in this area, that what we're going to be doing is making the comparison. In other words, uh, is Allah the same as God? There, there are a lot of progressive liberals in the church today that are making everybody think that God and Allah are one and the same. And, and to give you a, a very simple example, according to the Koran, which is the Bible of the Muslims, they believe that Allah has no offspring. Well, if there is no offspring, then how can he extend mercy and grace to us if we're his creation. The Bible tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So in other words, because God loved us and he created us in his own image, he provided Jesus for us so that we would have eternal life. But we need to believe in him. But Jesus is the only begotten of the Father. You see the comparison? Indeed. So, See, so what happens is Allah is a God of wrath. God is truly a God of judgment and justice, but he's also a God of mercy and love. In the Koran, there is no mercy. It's all judgment. Mm, yes, See, yes. So in this book, what I've done is not only have I made a comparison of Allah and God, I've made a comparison of Muhammad, who is the highest prophet within the Muslim faith. I make a comparison of Mohammed versus Jesus. Another comparison is the Quran versus the Bible. And, and, and people say, well, Jesus is mentioned in the Quran. That is absolutely correct. As a matter of fact, it's mentioned 28 times. But here's where the problem is. The fact is that they look at Jesus as only a prophet. We look at Jesus as the only begotten of the Father. That's it. The only the yes. only way to God. That's it. That's correct. Jesus said the only way to the Father is through Jesus. Uh, and, and he says, for I am the way, the truth, and the, uh, and the light. No man cometh to the Father but through me. So the important thing that we are trying to establish, and I really feel uh, as much as I've been able to so far, I've done some book tours in Florida and in Georgia. Now I'm targeting uh, the Missouri. Uh, I'll be in uh, uh, the week of the conference there. I'll be in St. Louis. A week after that, I'll be in Kansas City. I'm hoping to be in Springfield. So I'll be letting you know at our next time what the dates will be and the places so that the people can be informed. And uh, if they're interested, they could come and visit me. But the important thing that we want to do is we want to get this information into the hands of the people so that they're informed. There's too much fear that's going on and, and a lot of error in the church, if you will. Yes. And we need to get that corrected. Yes. And, and as I have said to you personally and on our, in our, our radio interviews, you, the information that you give, your books, it, it's just simply revelatory. It's revelatory. Uh, it's a gift. It's just simply a gift from God, how he has uh, given you the ability and to download the information that he's given you, Apostle, and the research. So Allah is not our God is, is, is perfectly on time in this season, isn't it? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this book, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm taking a quick look at it right now in the index. We're seeing that in the index there's 13 chapters that pertain to 
to uh, this whole thing about Allah. As a matter of fact, it talks about uh, Sharia law. It talks about the comparison of radical Islam versus regular uh, Islam. And, and, and there's all, many, many, many comparisons for understanding. And But more importantly, there's a prayer of salvation at the very end. If there are individuals that do not know Jesus and they're operating in this sphere of uncertainty, well, we want to show them that Jesus is not only the only begotten of the Father, he's the only answer to peace of mind, to salvation, to hope, and to all that God has for us. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle Frank Bio, who is our CBC author of the month. We're so excited about the new release of his new book, Allah is Not Our God. Now, Apostle, you will be in town on the 17th for our Celebration of Women in Healthcare event at the Atrium in the Christian Hospital Northeast. And then also yes. on the 18th, you're going to be at Perpetual Life, which is yes. Apostle William Bingham's church and tell us what you're going to be doing there well the thing is this I, there's a scripture verse that that stands out and this is something that the lord has shown me because the church is going to go is going through a difficult time and it's going to go through even increasing difficult times because the bible says that they will be persecuted for his namesake meaning jesus and so the fact remains is the book of Revelation says this, and they overcame him by uh, the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Mm -hmm. Now, what the Lord showed me is that we have misinterpreted that scripture. When we think of the word overcame, we're thinking of getting an advantage over. In the original language, that's not what it says. It actually means they destroyed him by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that the kingdom suffered the violence, but the violent take it by force. By force. So what the Lord has given me is a positive, relevant word to give to the church that now is the time that God is about to re-empower the church like never before, and we're going to see multiplicity of souls coming into the kingdom, but we've got a positive word so that the body of Christ is going to be a position of strength and not in a position of weakness. That's it, because, you know, um, uh, that's how the world looks upon us, you know, that, you know, yes. we're, we're, in, we're, we're weak, we're, you know, and, and other adjectives, but that's not, <laughs> that's just not true. And, that and right. what, what happens is when the Lord uses um, uh, servants like yourself and others to remind people, remind the church, we need yes. to be reminded of who we are in Christ Jesus, okay? Amen. Because I Amen. believe that, you know, you know, in many churches, in many uh, areas, we're getting this watered down uh, uh, religion. Yes. Yes. Am I right uh, about it, Apostle? A Amen, amen, amen. And that's the reason why I say that the progressive liberal church, what it's done is, because it believes, even like our Constitution, they believe it's a living organism, and it should change. What they've done is they've introduced that same mentality in the church, and yet the Bible tells me that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. His Word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It changes not. So it's an absolute, but it's an absolute source of strength for they who read the Word. It'll empower them like never before. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Apostle, let our listeners know where they can get a copy of your book right now. They can go on my website, and it is um, it is bioministries.com, and uh, you can see there I have my bookstore already, and people can order that book. They can order the first book, which is uh, the one on uh, uh, the Watchman Sees Book 2, and I know that they will be thoroughly blessed, and uh, I'll get it out to them as soon as possible. And it's all by PayPal, so everything is all secure. It's on a secure site, and I know that they'll be blessed. Wonderful. Can you can you spell that website for us again, if you would, Apostle? Yes. The last name is Bayo, B-A-I-O, ministries.com. Wonderful. And and th this is also my thought, Apostle. You will be in St. Louis uh, for several days after um, the 17th. Yes. If we have a church or an organization, a ministry that's listening right now, can you give your phone number if they would like to have you come in and make uh, a, a book presentation? Sure. My, my cell phone number, which I can get at, uh, if you can get me at all times, is area code 941 779 Eight three two four. 
That's 941 area code. Seven seven nine eight three two four. Well, thank you, Apostle. I'm so excited. I can't wait till you get to St. Louis. We're going to have a good time, and this region Amen. is going to be blessed by your prophetic book tour. Thank you so much, Apostle. You're quite welcome, Prophetess. The Lord bless you, love, peace, and increase to all your hearers. Amen. Thank you. Amen. All right, friends. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Ladies, get ready for the celebration of Women in Healthcare, presented by the Christian Business Connection and Home State Health, Saturday, September 17th, at the Atrium, located in the DTIP building on the campus of Christian Hospital Northeast. Come out from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for this thank you and celebration of women in all services of healthcare. You will enjoy giveaways, free food, special speakers, vendor booths, entertainment, and more. Want a vendor booth, free lunch, or free admission? Call 3 1 Four two seven zero two 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 five. I'll go to the website, the CBC Radio Show dot com. Hi, my name is April Fuller, and I am with Tyra Beauty. I am a beauty trainer. Um, I'm so excited to share with you information about Tyra Beauty. It's awesome working for Tyra. Uh, she has so many amazing products, but uh, there's so many perks about being a per- beauty trainer. She gives awesome trips and meetings, and up, she's up close and personal, and we get to meet her in Vegas. She's very hands-on with her business, and on a daily basis, I wear um, her Smack My Fat Lashes mascara, her Duo Stick eyeliner, and her Cheek and a Stick blush. Uh, her products last, and they're very, very amazing. And uh, if you're interested in being the model, you can contact me at 217-741-1890. I am a Missouri resident, and you can also contact me uh, via email at april.kelly3 at com. Again, that is A-P-R-I-L dot K-E-L-L-Y 3 at AOL.com. Thank you. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm so excited about our next guest. She is one of the sponsors of the CBC Celebration for Women in Healthcare that we have partnered with Home State Health. I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Miss Miranda Qualls of Computer Village. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, my goodness. This is the day that the Lord has made. And what are you doing? We are rejoicing and we're glad in it. Yes. Right on time, girl. Right on time. (laughs) Well, you know, we really are rejoicing because we're in preparation. So uh, just so excited about the upcoming celebration of women in healthcare. Once again, I want to thank you for being one of our sponsors for that event. Computer Village. We are definitely honored and excited about this great, great event. Yes, yes. Now, I know you guys have got some great stuff that's coming up that you really want to get the word out to people. For instance, your adult uh, classes. Tell us about those. You've got registration going on, right? Yes, ma'am. We are currently registering um, for several adult classes. We have a location in St. Louis City um, and then also one in North County, which is one of our new locations. It's right off of 367 in Benham. And from there, we'll be teaching everything um, from hardware, coding, and then we also have some basic computer classes um, that will teach you how to use just your personal laptop or even a desktop or your phone or a tablet. Um, And we also have classes that will teach you how to use Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, things like that. So any kind of class for that. And then we also have after-school classes. Um, for those students who maybe you want to brush up on computer skills or maybe you want to pick up a trade, like learning how to build websites. You know, one thing I love that I have learned uh, through our interviews about Computer Village, your classes start as young as and then go to as old as. So it's for everybody, right? Yes, that is correct. We do not have an age limit. So any class, um, any age that you are, we are glad that you will be willing to take a class with us. And, you know, that's so good to know because I believe sometimes we can get to a particular age and we think, well, you know, I'm I'm to this to, to try something new or to know that. And uh, you have truly broadened my horizon, so I know it's never too late, is it? <laughs> that's right. It's never too late to learn, especially with all of the new technology. Sometimes, I mean, they introduce something new every week. So it's a great opportunity to just 
get up to date with everything going on. Yes, it is. And I'm so glad you said that. Things are introduced new every week. And so we have to keep up with technology. You know, yes. nowadays it's not really it's, it's not really a question anymore. We have to keep up what's going on in the world, don't we? Yes, that is correct. Um, um, a lot of people may not even know that the idea of um, paying with your phone now is becoming nationwide. After a while, there will be no more debit or credit cards. And so you have to know how to use your phone in order to even make a payment coming up. And so that's definitely something that we teach. Wow. Yeah, and that's part. these are part of the basic techniques and things that you just have to know, part of the basics that you teach in your classes. Yes, that is correct. We teach all of that and more. <laughs> all of, right, all of that and more. And so I know we talked about it in um, the beginning, in one of our uh, beginning interviews, but just kind of let our listeners, anyone new who's tuning in this morning, let them know how Computer Village started and really what your vision and the mission is of the company. So Computer Village started 21 years ago by a great man called Don Holt, who um, had the vision and the belief that everybody can learn. There's not an age limit to it. There's not a skill level that you have to do. You don't have to have a college degree to learn technology. Um, so with that being said, we have definitely um, grown, uh, We and we believe, just as he believed, that technology is the world, and if we learn it, then that is the best thing that we could do, whether it be with your phone, which people don't understand that that's a computer, tablet, <laughs> uh, websites, everything that's related to technology. We want to show you how to do it. So if we know it, you'll know it. You know, <laughs> the, the phone is a computer. When you said that to me, I was like, right. <laughs> it is. People really don't understand that it's just a mini computer. Everything we do is related to a computer. It's actually built like a computer. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know, um, I touched on it, I think, last week when we were talking, and I had someone ask me, and they said they, they really teach about how to do solar panels and how to make that work for your home. And so, yeah, you know, can you touch on that again? Because that really sparks some interest in many people. Yes, ma'am. Um, again, we, we definitely can show you not just how to um, create solar panels, how to hook them up for your home, but we can also teach you how to mount them on your uh, roof or in a specific place that you would do. Again, solar panels are taking over the world. Um, with everybody moving towards more green energy, it's definitely probably one of our hotter classes. Wow. And this is um, uh, under your environmental technology that you provide as services. Yes. Uh, in yes, addition to uh, information about biofuels, tell, tell us about that. Yes, ma'am. We do biofuels, urban gardening, um, anything with green technology. Um, people don't understand that gardening as we know it or biofuels as we know it is not the same anymore. Um, everything is going green. And so with that being said, there's actually, in order to mix chemicals and things like that um, or even more natural things, there's actually machines that do it for you now. And you have to learn how to program those machines, which, again, is just coding. And coding is just how we build websites. <laughs> so if, if you really think about it, everything is just so interconnected and so it's a great opportunity for you to learn exactly where the world is going. Um, a lot of people don't even know that like things like bridges now are not being built by man. They're actually being built by machines that are actually pro programmable. So we definitely, definitely are pushing more um, of our green technology as well. Wow, you're right. A lot I didn't know that. Right. <laughs> and one thing I also noticed that I was just highly impressed uh, about Computer Village is that you know the Lord has been so good to your company throughout these 20 years because you have partners that you have worked with. Um, I mean, the list is probably in, endless, isn't it? Yes, it is. We've 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 had some great people that we have been have had great opportunities to work with, and we are looking forward to even growing the list even more. Yes, yes. I know that at the upcoming celebration of women in healthcare, you will actually have computers, you'll have software, you'll have things there that folks can purchase. Am yes, I right? That is correct. During the celebration of women, we will have desktops, laptops, we have some Apple tablets, um, we also have software, like if you want to update your Microsoft to maybe Microsoft Office 2016, which is the current one, we are able, we will have that available. We have antivirus software available. Um, and then also at the time, people can sign up for every class that we have currently going right now. 
And you know what? I, I don't even want to ask you how many th- how many classes that is. I know it's endless, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes. But again, um, as we tell people all the time, if there's a class that we're not offering and it's something you want to learn, we'll create a class. We have no problem doing that. We actually prefer to do that because then that's another opportunity for us to, to impart in someone the great, great information that we know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't. I think you've created everything, don't you think? <laughs> we're trying. We're definitely trying. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I also want to I want to touch on and we can because look what I love about Computer Village and talking with you is that we can go on and on and on because there's so much there's never a a lack of content because you all are just fantastic but can you touch on your robotics program yes ma'am um with the world changing um especially in the school district most people are doing what's called steam which is um, an extended version of the STEM program. Um, and so with technology, the robotics part is probably humongous in a lot of schools, uh, meaning that we are teaching kids how to build things from scratch. Um, and, we're, of course, it's all technology-based. We, we can teach you how to program a robot to move. And if you really think about it, just like I was stating with um, building bridges, that's just programming. It's the exact same code that they use to build bridges is the same code that's used to build robots. And so it's actually opening the doors for students, and they don't even realize it to, you know, get into good paying careers and things like that. Yes, yes. Well, I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in this morning, I'm talking with Miss Miranda Quarles, who is of Computer Village, one of our sponsors for our upcoming celebration of women in healthcare. Now, can you tell us how folks can get in contact with you? Maybe they they don't want to wait. They want to get that computer now. They need to get registered right now. Can you give us your contact information? Yes, ma'am. Um, you can reach us by phone at 314-533-1900. Again, it's 314-533-1900. Or they can visit our website at computervillage.org. Wonderful. Uh, we're just about out of time. Can you kind of touch also on, because um, uh, we, we've talked about it, sometimes folks just have a fear. They have a fear of technology. They have a fear that it's going to be too hard. It's going to be too difficult. How can you help folks alleviate that? Um, the best thing I can say is, one, technology was created to make life easier. And so if you can learn it, then you've, you've already conquered it. Um, the other thing is that if you take one of our classes, we, have, we always have two instructors in there. So one is teaching and one is able to sit next to you if you feel like you need a little bit of extra help or thing like that. So um, we are always willing and able to help. Not just that, we're always a phone call away. If you ever have a question, we definitely have technicians. We have instructors that are always available to answer questions. And I definitely have to endorse that. Your customer service is simply excellent. And that is, uh, that's a pretty good thing to say in <laughs> these days when customer service can be questionable. But the the customer service, the patience <laughs> <laughs> that you all have and your staff, it is amazing. I want to thank you for that. No problem. We, we definitely enjoy that. Well, I can't wait to see you at the upcoming Celebration of Women in Healthcare. And we're going to talk next week also about some great things, some further great things that Computer Village is doing. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing? Nope. Just remember that technology was um, created to make life easier if we can just learn to use it. Right. If we can just learn to use it. That's right. Thank you so much, Miss Miranda Qualls of Computer Village. Thank you. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning. My name is Miranda Qualls from Computer Village, and I am here with the Tech Geek Tip of the Week. Have you ever logged into your computer and wished that you could erase everything and start over? Or maybe you have searched and searched for that one file that you did a few months back, and now you can't seem to find it. Well, here's a solution for you to become more organized with your computer files. Just like the old file cabinet that we all had in our offices, you are able to organize your files, pictures, and documents on your computer. You can create something called folders that you are able to arrange all of your documents and pictures into. To create a new folder, you need to open up File Explorer, right-click in the File Explorer box. From the submenu, you can select Folder. 
This will create an icon that will say folder. You are then able to rename it by selecting the folder and right-clicking the mouse again and select Rename. You will want to select a name that will summarize what you will have in that folder. For example, if I am a student, I may want to have a folder with the name of each class that I am currently taking. Once you have named the folder, you are able to drop files into the folder by selecting the file on the left side of the mouse and holding it and dropping it into the folder in which it will reside. Having organized files will help you become more effective and better organized in everything that you do. Remember, technology was created to make life easier if we just learn to use it. If you have further questions about organizing your files or questions regarding any of your technology devices, please contact Computer Village at 314-533-1900 or visit our website at computervillage.org. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. This is Prophetess Nona Thomas, and I tell you, I am excited about our next guest. This woman of God has got something great for our women who are going to be at the upcoming celebration of women in healthcare. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. April Fuller. Good morning. Good morning. Now, you know I'm going to ask you. You know I'm going to ask you. <laughs> is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, yes, yes. That's the right answer. That's a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know we rejoice, and we're just so looking forward to the upcoming celebration of women in healthcare. And you're going to be there with a fantastic line of Tyra Beauty. Am I right? Yes, I definitely will. <laughs> you know, tell us about Tyra Beauty Cosmetics. There may be a few people out there who are not aware that Tyra Banks has a whole line of cosmetics. Yes, Tyra Beauty is just uh, definitely a beauty line that has um, been ex came about and expired by the Tyra the Tyra Banks, <laughs> America's next top model, and she is awesome. She's, like, really involved with her business, her makeup line, and she always has something up her sleeves. <laughs> but you say always. There's always a new product, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> In fact, tell us, what is the new product for the month of September? For the month of September, the new product is the lip gloss. It's called I'm Glossy, and it's a really pretty color, and she had it great. It's definitely a great color. It's pink, if you love pink. She got them in pink. She got them in, like, a uh, purple-looking color, and a, a couple other colors, too. Mm -hmm. And it's just a nice product. Um, and if you're a woman like me, I love lip gloss. I think most women love lip gloss, lipstick, in, indeed. And and what I like about uh, Tyra Beauty is that every month there is a new special, um, uh, you know, that she promotes on her on her line. Is that right? Yes. So one of my things that I, I love, I mean, I, I just, I love makeup, um, or different eyeshadows. Now, I know that there's a complete line of your eyeshadows. In fact, what is your uh, website so folks can go to see everything in, in pure color? My website is www.tyra.com slash afuller87. So can you give us the website address so folks can go and see all the fantastic colors of Tyra Beauty? Yes, it's www.tyra.com forward slash A-F-U-L-L-E-R-8-7. There must have been something, April, that drew you to Tyra Beauty for you to become a beauty tainer. Tell us what drew you to the company and why you're doing what you're doing. Uh, what drew me to uh, Tyra Beauty and to become a beauty tainer, I was actually um, just looking for something, because I love makeup, ladies, and I was trying to look for something that fit me, and when I saw that her makeup line um, she had, you can get ready in two minutes and have, like, get a whole tie over and I'm like I'm a busy lady so if I can get a whole American Next Top model line 
uh, look in two minutes, I said, I got to jump on that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what? It's uh, really the, the line, the product line just enhances, you know, our natural beauty. You are, you are so pretty. You're, you're just stunning. And so oh, this uh, line of products has just really, it really enhances what we already have, doesn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, when, when you're going to be there with your booth at the Celebration of Women in Healthcare event, you'll have samples, you'll have folks who can kind of come and, you know, uh, actually touch and feel the product and, yes. and maybe even do a couple makeovers. Are you going to do that? Yes, definitely. Because um, when I first uh, tried the product, um, actually, I started at the beginning, so it was it. Uh, any products for me to try, like I got lucky um, when I heard about Tyra products, um, I got in early and I was like one of the top people that um, they hadn't barely launched, so they didn't have any uh, thing that I can sample, but uh, I jumped in and I like all the products that I tried. I like the lip gloss, I like the blush. Matter of fact, um, one of my friends, she liked the brush so much, she was like, oh girl, can I just have a little bit so I just went ahead and gave her the blush <laughs> as one as a gift from me to her but um, there are so many other products that we both love and they're very easy to use and they're not messy and I like that part because uh, you've mentioned that before. They're, the products are easy to use. It's not messy. You know, women, we're on the go. We don't want all those extra. We don't want those extra steps and stuff falling all over the place, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're just about out of time. And, you know, we've been blessed. You have been talking about uh, you, these products, talking about your services. What if somebody wants to call you to have a show or to have a, um, you know, a showing of your products before? For the celebration of women. How can they reach you one more time? They can reach me at 217-741-1890 and they can call anytime before midnight, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. Give us that hotline number one more time. That is 217-741-1890. Great, great, great. Well, I'm excited. Can't wait to see you at the Celebration of Women in Healthcare. Thank you so much for being on the program today. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Ladies, get ready for the Celebration of Women in Healthcare, presented by the Christian Business Connection and Home State Health, Saturday, September 17th, at the Atrium, located in the Dietrich Building on the campus of Christian Hospital Northeast. Come out from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for this thank you and celebration of women in all services of healthcare. You will enjoy giveaways, free food, special speakers, vendor booths, entertainment, and more. Want a vendor booth, free lunch, or free admission? Call 31. 31- 4-270-2225 or go to the website the CBC Radio Show.com. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Good morning. I am Miranda Quarles from Computer Village, a proud sponsor of the Celebration of Women in Healthcare on Saturday, September the 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Atrium in Christian Hospital Northeast. Computer Village will be there. Computer Village will have many laptops, desktops, and printers available for purchase. We will also have signups available for classes ranging from Microsoft Office, coding, and robotics, and many more. If you have any questions or would like more information, Please contact us at 314-533-1900 or visit our website at computervillage.org. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I'm just so excited about my next guest. I love her business. It is something that women across the world are using, okay? And surely right here in St. Louis. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Miss Roxy Jones of Peace of Mind Boutique. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you, Evangelist Thomas. Thank you for having me. Good morning. You are welcome. Now, you know, I did not prep you on this 
question, but I uh-uh. ask everybody this question when they come on the show. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Oh, unlike so many, I can't do anything more but rejoice and be glad in it. That's it. That's it. Well, you got you got an A, girl. That's the right answer. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> we are rejoicing and we're glad in it. You know, I could just rejoice about your business because it really is something that women need. And you are going to yes. be one of the vendors at the upcoming celebration of women in healthcare. So you have an audience that definitely needs what you have. So tell us about a peace of mind boutique. Peace of mind boutique. I have been in business for two years Mm -hmm. and I came across this opportunity and I thought it was very brilliant, a multi-level marketing business for hair. And I did want to be a part of the beauty industry and I just didn't know how. This came across me and I said, this is a no brainer for me. Yes, I went in. I wear (laughs) hair. I love extensions. Why not be in business for myself? Right. And still have hair and help others as well. Well, I, it's let me tell you, it's got to be a multi-billion dollar business. That's all I know. Yes. And it would be only natural for you to be a part of this uh, beauty. Uh, and that's what I call it, this beauty thing, because you're stunning, you're beautiful. Oh, thank and you. so you have such a personality to help people. So I can understand it. And look, let me tell you, when we need a hair fix, when mm-hmm. we need a new look, when we need a new do, we know we got to get somewhere quick. So it's an emergency. It's <laughs> my I, I, high five me girl it's an emergency it's it really an is. emergency we've all been there we've all been there it's an emergency <laughs> so tell us how you can help not not just uh i mean any woman you can be of service to any woman in their hair needs so tell yes. us about your services our services include i offer a wide variety of different hair products i have clip-ins I have hair extensions. I have the single bundles as well as bundle deals. Mm -hmm. I also have wigs. Mm -hmm. So I do have all different types of hair products that cater to every audience or that hair lovers, whatever you, however you like to wear your hair. Right. I'm here for you. I'm here to help. You know what I love about that is what you're really saying is you're customized because very often, you know, we'll go into different, you know, boutiques and hair places and, you know, it's it's crowded. You know, um, perhaps they don't understand what we want, you know, and it's not a personal feel. But I believe that women want that personal feel, that touch to say, hey, how do I really apply this? Can you help me? What looks good? Am I right about that? You are absolutely correct. And that is the beauty of my boutique. That's what sets me aside. Aside from the rest, I do consultations. I do welcome them. Um, Stylist referrals. If you're looking to have a particular hair uh, do done and you're not too sure of a stylist, I do have stylist referrals for you as well. I offer um, other stylists as well. I help them through employment with other salons that are looking for stylists as well. So it's really like an ongoing uh, collaboration, a lot of community involvement, outreach mm-hmm. as far as not just selling hair. Right. So I really am here for the community and empowering women in the community as well. You know, and, and what I like about that, I know your services also uh, help uh, women who um, may have had he- health situations. Absolutely. And so therefore, you know, they may need, uh, 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 you know, a wig, extensions or what have you. But again, this is a personalized thing. You can come to their home home or something absolutely. and they don't have to worry about you know any embarrassment and coming out you know what I'm saying absolutely I am mobile I come to you I do offer same day delivery uh, upon uh upon uh, appointment mm-hmm. and uh, like I said I'm, I'm here for the community I have a hundred percent Zen Remy version human hair mm-hmm. uh, there aren't there's no shedding there's no matting no bad odors. Mm-hmm. Uh, the shelf life is two years. So it is re- uh, reinstallable. So you are getting more bang for your buck when you shop with me. When well, you look, shop look with, now you just said it. Cake. for <laughs> You just you just hit it right there because women, we want more bang for our buck. Yes, we do. We, we want quality. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is exactly what you provide at Peace of Mind Boutique. Now, you know, I think it's so catchy. I, I don't miss anything. It's so catchy that your business name, Peace of Mind. Now, when you say it, you think, OK, sure. You think of P-E-A-C-E, but you see you're, you're pronouncing it or spelling it. 
P I E C E. That's right. Yes. Because when we need a piece of hair, <laughs> or when we okay. need whatever we need, we need it, and we can come to you. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, I, what I also love is the fact that you're so accessible. You can be reached on several different um, uh, avenues. Oh, yes. Because when and what I like when you give your phone number, you call it the hotline. Tell us why we, why it's called the hotline. Because it's really a hotline, ladies. Three in the morning, whatever, whenever, however, I'm here for you. It's a hotline. You text, uh, call, leave a message. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's it, because when we want something as women, when we want something, perhaps an uh, uh, an event or something came up, we didn't know we were going to, but it's tonight, and we need to be taken care of quickly. That's an emergency. It's it's an emergency. (laughs) We got to call the hotline. So give us your contact information. All right. The hotline number is 305 Eight one four zero eight nine one. That's my hotline, ladies. I can also be reached. Uh, you can shop the site luxuryhairdirect.com uh, forward slash buy forward slash peace of mind boutique. That's the shop site, and also you can follow us on Instagram at peace of mind hair thirteen. Wow. Give us that phone number one more time. And when you're saying peace, remind us that it's spelled P-I-E-C-E. Yes. Okay, so give us your info one more time, would you? Uh, Hotline number is 305-814-0891. I can be reached there at any time, ladies. Text, call, or leave a voice message. And I can also be reached, uh, you can follow us on Instagram at P-I-E-C-E-O-F-M-I-N. D H A I R 13. Great. Peace of mind here, 13. Peace of mind. Truly, it is peace of mind. Now, um, let me ask you this. Are you available to come into perhaps um, beauty schools or organizations, sororities, and maybe and, and talk about or teach on your products? Absolutely. I do offer uh, workshops as well as demos. More than welcome. I would love to come and visit and share Peace of Mind Boutique with you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, what well, we're getting ready to come into what I call, you know, the, the, the fast days. We're, these months coming up, I mean, it's holidays. Oh, yeah. It's, it's you know, folks are we're coming from summer into the fall. And, you know, there may be ladies listening. They want to just new, do something new, you know, have a new look, a new do. Mm-hmm. You can help them, can't you? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And I can put you in those stylists that will give you the look that you're wanting. I love it. I love it. I want to thank you for being a part of the CBC radio show this morning. Thank is there you. is there anything else that you wanted to say in closing? Well, shop with Peace of Mind Boutique and give her what she really wants, a peace of mind. Well, there it is. There it is. There it is. I love it. Thank you so much, Miss Roxy Jones of Peace of Mind Boutique. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Ladies, get ready for the celebration of women in healthcare, presented by the Christian Business Connection and Home State Health, Saturday, September 17th, at the atrium located in the Dietrich Building on the campus of Christian Hospital Northeast. Come out from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for this thank you and celebration of women in all services of healthcare. You will enjoy giveaways, free food, special speakers, vendor booths, entertainment, and more. Want a vendor booth, free lunch, or free admission? Call 31. 31- 4-270-2225. I'll go to the website, the CBC Radio Show.com. Good morning. My name is Liddell Blackman, creator of Be Free Creations Custom Made Jewelry. I'm expecting to see all women in healthcare to come out September the 17th for a celebration of Women in Healthcare Appreciation Day. If you need further information about Be Free Creations, Please feel free to call me at 314-496-0349. See you there. Good morning. I am Miranda Quarles from Computer Village, a proud sponsor of the Celebration of Women in Healthcare on Saturday, September the 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Atrium in Christian Hospital Northeast. Computer Village will be there. Computer Village will have many laptops, desktops, and printers available for purchase. We will also have sign-ups available for classes ranging from Microsoft Office, coding, and robotics, and many more. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact us at 314-533-1900 or visit our website at computervillage.org.
Good morning, everybody. My name is Van Swat. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Friends, haven't we had a wonderful time today? I just thank God for my guests, for everyone who was on the program that is a part of the celebration for women in healthcare. Thank you so much. You know, you don't want to miss this event. I don't know how I can say it in other languages. I don't know any other languages, but if I knew some other languages, I would say it in all of those. You don't want to miss it. I want to tell you that this event coming up on Saturday, September 17th is for every woman in any level of service in healthcare. We simply want to celebrate you. We simply want to say thank you. There are going to be giveaways, vendors, special speakers. We're going to have a good time, food, all of that good stuff. And this event is free if you have a ticket and free If you have a flyer, so a ticket or a flyer will get you in for free. If you don't, it's only five dollars and it's worth far more than that. I want to tell you, you can get your tickets or flyers at Transformation Christian Bookstore or you can give the Christian Business Connection a call at 314-270-2225. Come on out. Just come on out. You are going to be blessed Saturday, September 17th. At the atrium on the campus of Christian Hospital Northeast. Thank you so much for being a part of what we're doing in the Christian Business Connection. You know, sometimes we move fast and we just don't take the time to say thank you. Well, I want to take this moment to say thank you to all of my listeners. Thank you to my listeners, not only here in the metropolitan St. Louis area, but all across the world as this show is heard on iHeartRadio.com. All over the world. To God be the glory for that. We've got listeners everywhere. And I just want to say thank you for listening to me talk about Jesus, interviewing business owners and ministries. It is my honor. It is a pleasure to be of service to you. If you would like to be interviewed on the CBC radio show, give me a call. 314-270-2225. You know, we're going to be interviewing folks all around that atrium on September 17th. We're going to have mics everywhere. We're going to be filming. Hey, we're going to have so much fun because we want you all to be able to look back and say, hey, I was a part of that. So I'm looking for forward to meeting you at the upcoming celebration of women in healthcare. go to our website the cbc radio show.com i want to thank our sponsors for this event home state health you are wonderful simply wonderful the work that you are doing across the entire state of missouri go to the website homestatehealth.com or go to our website the cbc radio show.com which will link you to home state health thank you so much computer village we love you we love you. Thank you so much, Apostle Frank Bio, who is a sponsor as well of the celebration of women. All right, friends, counting the days down. Can't wait to see you. As always in closing, you know what I say. To God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.